Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a dip into the in scale again. This time we're taking a look at the F3 A and B and F7 A and B from Broadway Limited and Paragon 4. The F units were really around a lot on the railroad, so that's why you see a lot around on the model railroad. So let's take a look at what you get in the box next. I think we can limit the unboxing to just the A units. You guys can get the idea. And because it's got a little more color than my UP units, which are my favorite, I'm going to go ahead and give the nod to unboxing uh, this Santa Fe unit here. But basically it's wrapped in plastic and you just give it a tug and it comes out. There's also a packet in here that says do not eat. So uh, I would suggest not eating that. And then in the back, kind of hidden away, when you pull away all the foam, there is a manual and a couple other things hidden back here, including some information you can pause and read, especially if you're full HD. But it's basically talking about, you know, avoiding damage, models DC and DCC. Then you've got pro lighting mode where you can control individual lights and then the regular standard mode functions. And we've covered pro lighting mode before so we won't do that again, but I will go ahead and unbox all of these models and we'll take a closer look. I also noted as a side note that there is an optional plow here in that same area as the humidity pack. All right, so the great things about Broadway Limited is when I start zooming in, I've actually had comments, people asking me, is it HO scale? Because it's very well detailed for in scale. And you can see that here on the F units as well. As we zoom in, we'll start again with the Santa Fe. There's a separately applied horn up top, separately applied windshield wipers that appear to be metal. Got the Mars light and headlight, separate grabs. These aren't molded in details at all. Uh, they're separately applied, which is really nice and in scale. Same thing for some of the lower attachments there above the snow plow. Got the coupler with magnetic glad hand. You got a nice metal grating. Now on the side, you can see some molded in details. That's typical of all models, not just in scale but these separately applied grab irons for crew entry to the cab and back here are not molded in. Looking at the trucks, you can see the spring loads. You can see um, the low-lying tank, fuel tank there, emergency shutoff for the tank, which is cool. There's rivet detail, hatch detail on the back, as you can see there, along with your dynamic brake fan and radiator fans there. I believe they might have, a, I think that's a dynamic brake fan, I could be wrong. When you look at the ends, you can see the diaphragm, which is, uh, you know, sprung or moves to a certain extent. I don't know if it's a, like literally sprung, but it does have movement left and right. You can see the metal wheels on the back there. And as you look at the B unit, more of the same. So we come over here to the UP units. Same thing, but you can notice that Broadway Limited once again made variations based on road name. So the horn here is different than the horn on the Santa Fe. You got a bi-directional horn on this, it looks like. So two separate horns. You got your yellow and gray, UP yellow. You can see the trucks a little better with that lighter color. Your number boards, windshield wipers, grabs on the nose, grabs down here above the snow plow. Oop, gave it a poke there, didn't mean to do that. And your snow plow window for the coupler. 
Looking straight up, you can see that bi-directional horn. One horn's facing forward, the other one's facing back. Like on UPF units. B unit right here, same way. With uh, no horn, but just the yellow and gray. And beautiful details on that. So, let me go ahead and move this so you can see the B units a little better. There's your UP. And there is your Santa Fe. And you see the AEI barcode thingy. It's like an old system uh, for reading freight details and uh, railroad details there on the side on the Santa Fe. So there's your 360. Let's go ahead and get into operation. You know, many people ask me to weigh the N-scale units because I don't have the ability to test a lot of N-scale stuff. I don't have a coupler height or wheel gauge or anything like that, but I can weigh them. There's this or, uh, I'm sorry, the A unit on this F unit is 2.8 ounces. That's 78 grams. And then when you add the B unit, you got a total of 5.6 ounces or 158 grams. So that's pretty beefy. And I bet you this unit's probably the same, even though they're slightly different. You got F3 versus F7. 156 grams, 5.5. Ounces. Okay, a couple ways to start up Broadway Limited. You've got extended startup, or you can just move the locomotive. We'll go ahead and do extended startup because I do like to cover that for you guys so you know what that's like. So it's F9. So one thing we can do right off the bat is just move these two units since they're both on three. And they're pretty well speeds matched. I don't see the distance closing much between the two units. Just a slight bit on a hesitation, but other than that, they're maintaining their distance. I'll go ahead and couple that up. You can always change the speed matching too. We'll go in reverse. And we move pretty good together as a unit here. It's one speed step in reverse. Very smooth. See your Mars light going. Headlights on. Let's listen to some sounds. Here's the bell. Horn. You got a coupler sounds. You got to move to get those to activate. Force compressor, dynamic brake. Five and six, you can manually rev the engine up and down. So your prime mover is going to start kicking up there. And back down, you can go all the way to notch 8. F7 controls your Mars light, so if you don't like that blinking, that's F7. F8's mute, F9 we talked about being startup, but it's also shut down. F10's your radiator fan. The radiator cooling fan, and we've got sounds all the way through uh, to F28. And here's some station sounds there, and there's a whole list of different sounds going all the way to F28, as I mentioned earlier.
Here we have the A and B unit for Union Pacific. You can see very smooth. It's those speed steps. We'll go ahead and connect those. Same horn. But I forgot to do F22, which is alternate horn. So there's your two horns. All the lighting works the same unless you kick it into pro lighting mode, then you have lighting options directly. They're very smooth. Prime mover responds nicely. And really cool F units for those who need some on their in-scale layout. You can always toy with CVs and change the start voltage and things like that as well. Well, that's going to do it for these F3 UP units and F7 units here on the channel. Great product overall. Very smooth operation. Paragon 4, so you have your subwoofer. You've got added capacitance for dirty track and great sound and a pretty hefty locomotive. So, with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the channel. Take care.